Hey everybody, uh, what's going on? Um, so today I have a Chicago Electric, pretty much it's a Harbor Freight, um, the Sonic Cleaner. It's, so it's a Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, and I, you know, don't get me wrong, I put this thing through the ringer and it's actually really cool. Um, I used to uh, do a lot of cleaning, um, you know, like on racing gear and so it it would just do a great job for like cleaning chains and everything like that. Uh, really awesome. Uh, also good for cleaning bolts and everything like that. And that's what I used it for. So it took off a lot of good grime. And I used, um, when you pair this with a good uh, degreaser, this thing works well. So it has a heater. And um, yeah, as you can see, these things broke just over time. But this is the heater. You know, this is the timer. This is start stop. But uh, recently, I, I this thing has just been sitting forever because I just haven't had a, a need to use it. And so recently I went to go use it and uh, I noticed that the motor was kind of not really working. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's see if I can get this thing started. So it'll kind of vibrate, but um, it kind of does you know it kind of does this like start stop motion um it's can't you can't really tell now but it'll kind of go you know up it'll kind of increase in intensity and then decrease in intensity so i'm going to take this thing apart and just see if there's anything that can be done to fix it and uh take you take you guys along for the journey so let's get started There we go. I heard something. Something moved. Something fell. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe it was just that screw. So, let's see here. So the part that we're concerned with is in here. Something in there needs to kind of get boosted. But as far as I can tell, everything looks OK in terms of how everything works. So, to be honest, I don't really see too much wrong with this. I mean, unless you kind of start taking the tank off, which means I'm going to have to unplug all these things, which, I mean, to be honest, I really don't want to do. Let's see. Oh, that's pulling up the board. Wow. Okay, that's one. That's two. Three. Four. So we've separated the board from, we've separated, I guess you would say, the tub from the circuit board. So now we can set this aside for now and look into this is this is what we need to get power going effectively. 
And so let's see here. Just going to switch screwdrivers here. These screws are just terrible. I mean, they strip like so easy. Well, I couldn't get these screws um, to come out. A few stripped. Uh, the heads, the metal is just so soft on these that. Um, you know, the minute I started uh, trying to un unscrew them, the heads would strip and then I just couldn't get them. So I decided to leave these screws in and then just kind of focus on the other externals, uh, especially this. I just want to see what this is. I'm pretty sure this has to do with the ultrasonic um, vibration. Um, impulse that, that's sending the vibrations into the tank and so I want to see what this does or what this is and then start working on the circuit board and see if maybe we can figure something out so I'm gonna just go ahead and remove this I already kind of started on it um, I shut the video off. I shut the camera off because I was about to give up on this thing after these screws stripped, but decided to kind of keep working at it. So, all right, and that's that. So some type of fiberglass insulation there. Gonna leave that alone. Put that back. But curiosity can kill the cat, so let's see what's under there. Oh, I know what that is. That is the to heat up the tank, I believe. I believe this is to heat the tank up because this tank does come with a heater, so. I believe that's just to heat everything up. Just gonna put that back. Cause there's nothing like a warm bath, right? Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Can't really see there what we're working with here. So, again, I don't see anything that looks just, you know, out of the ordinary. The fuse. We have a fuse right here. Uh, it looks good. And we have our power supply. That looks good as well. 
and we have our fan. Fan looks good. But other than that, um, nothing looks out of the ordinary. I will say though that this is a uh, very well made. So if you guys are looking to buy um, ultrasonic tank, the Harbor Freight one, it's great, and it served me uh, well for many many years, and it still works. I'm just uh, looking to see if I can uh, fix the fix the tank a little bit, but um, I mean aside from bringing out the multimeter and testing everything. Uh, which I uh, don't really plan on doing. Um, I just kind of wanted to do, just kind of want to look it over and see if there's anything uh, out of the obvious, you know, out of the ordinary that um, I could fix right away. But um, everything looks good on the surface. And maybe, maybe once I just start uh, using it more, uh, it'll work again. So uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and unfortunately uh, nothing really got solved, but at least you got to take a look inside the Harbor Freight. Um, you got a chance to take a, you know, a look inside the Harbor Freight um, ultrasonic tank. So if, hopefully that helps you with your purchasing decision. And once again, um, this video is not sponsored by Harbor Freight or I should say uh, not once again but it's just that I've been saying that on a lot of videos lately just because I've been uh, reviewing Harbor Freight tools and um, but yeah Harbor Freight did not sponsor this video and this is just something that I wanted to see if I could fix and here we go here's the item number right there in case you want to buy it so and this was purchased years ago many many years ago. I want to say I want to say over 10 years ago. So I know Harbor Freight, uh, they're continuously improving their products. So the one you buy now might be even better. So uh, with all that said, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. So after doing some more, so after doing some more uh, work. I end up cleaning the circuit board with some, oops, some deoxid D5, and as you can see, this thing is now just like super powerful, uh, way better than before. So kind of hit right there in the middle there, and I mean this thing is super strong. Now, so. That seems to have done the trick. So uh, let's see if I can kind of move this on up. So uh, once you take this apart, remove the circuit board, and then just go ahead and clean it with some um, denatured alcohol and a toothbrush. And then after that, uh, air it out and then clean it with some. Uh, deoxid or any type of electrical parts cleaner uh, lubricant and so once I did that um, yeah everything everything works this thing works amazing now even better than before so uh, that's it and this thing is counting down uh, it's gonna take a while but I'll go ahead and pull it out right now and show you and just look at that this thing was dirty um, I started this video like midway through and then once I had noticed how well it worked because I wasn't sure what to expect, um, man, this this thing is like, look at, look at that, yeah, it's like brand new. And, and I wasn't sure what to expect so I just poured in some hot water. I didn't even use any soap or anything and it cleaned this thing up real nice. Uh, this is, this is Flux. But, I mean, the threads were super dirty, and the minute I turned it on, I mean, just like a, a foam of just dirt started to separate from this thing. So, so I'm really excited. Really excited. So, yeah, if you want to restore life back into the ultrasonic tank, uh, go ahead and clean the circuit board. That helped a lot.
All right. Uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So the threads are all super clean. Um, this white stuff up here, um, before, th this was just a test, but if I were to really uh, um, focus on cleaning, then I would use a wire brush to scrape all that off. Uh, the ultrasonic tank can't perform miracles, but uh, it does its job when everything is uh, properly prepped. So uh, once again, yeah, this is a... Uh, super clean I'm happy with it and here's this which is nice and shiny wow that is that is amazing and actually it even started to remove some of this uh, old uh, flux that's that was on here for a long time so so that's that's really cool so uh, probably uh, giving it you know probably two or three cycles would remove all the flux 100% uh, just from the sonic cleaner but once again I would use a wire brush first to scrape all that off then put it in a tank uh, so yeah uh, it's really great once again uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time